This is the part where the story converges. Hopefully we don't get f a fucking crashed game again. That would suck. I'd be... I'd be a little sad. Grandma, can I rest now? I'm so tired. No. You're not allowed to rest. Kaine, over here! Don't give up! You're stronger than that! Don't you dare give up now! This woman is more trouble than she's worth. Wow, Vice. What a fucking dick. Not dick. Come on, come on. There he goes. Please don't crash. Hey, we made it. She's got tears in her eyes. Fuck. What did you remember? A sword. This is new content for me and for everyone else. Again. There's that dream again. Every time I wake up from it filled with pain and sadness. Mm hmm With this feeling like I've somehow forgotten something extremely important. When I look at my broken sword, it reminds me of my battle with the Shadow Lord. When did it break? That's my question. Somehow it's been three whole years since I saved Yona. Mm-hmm. But who saved you? That was supposed to be it. Goal achieved. Game over. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't. So then, why was I crying? Well, I'm sure we'll find out shortly. Three years have passed, and I still haven't found the answer to that question. Are you asking the right question? Bum. Bum. Okay, just cut out the music then. I was I was on fire. Not exactly the restful sleep I was hoping for. Dude, she's got a meal staff there. That fucking hurts. I'm gonna fucking screenshot that. Hold on. There we go. Damn it. Guess I'll go kill some shit. Sounds good to me, Kaine. I get to examine it too. A meal. <sighs> so I guess I get to play as a uh, Kaine for the time being. <laughs> oh, that's great. What else she got? Yo. Oh, bro. Am I going to be able to go back to playing anyone else? Christ, look at the way she plays. Plus, she got that Naruto run. I had tears in my eyes when I woke up this morning. I must have had a really sad dream. Maybe I'll talk to Kaine about it next time I see her. Come here, you annoying little bastards. So they're still alive. Gosh, every last one of you. How many is that? 
Feels like there's a lot of shades around lately. I wonder I why. Check in on Yona's village. I have an objective. Yo, there's a lot of enemies. And they're like the hard enemies. What level am I? 51? Man, everything hurts. Do I know what time it is? It's time to Naruto run. Die, damn you! Die! Hey, get back! It's dangerous here! <laughs> I think that's my line, buddy. Yeah. Do you not know who Kaine is? This is arguably one of the classical objects. Let's see it. Thanks for the oh, it's the sunglasses. Wow, amazing. Shades have been on the rise around here lately. Oh, believe me, I want to. See, we haven't been able to get in touch with anyone in the Forest of Myth. Somebody's got to go over there and make sure they're all right. And that someone is you. You will make it ten feet, but what? I'll go. Oh man, thanks a million. Oh wait. You should take these. I'll wait for you. Thanks, I feel like I'm about to fucking die. Look at her with her Naruto run. This is me on my way to Area 51. Ha! All this talk of shades. Ha ha! Hey! You're right. Get back here, you. How many- I can just spam this indefinitely. You have a degree, but it's a degree in idiocy. She can do the same thing. Yeah, that that translates to degree in idiocy. Degree in big idiot school. Look hey. at her fucking dodge. Anybody Look at that. Home? Boom, boom. A new save file has been unlocked. Your save data up to this point will be temporarily unusable. Oh, everyone's fucking dead. A guard. Another dead dude. Something's going on at the tree. Goodbye. What's <coughs> doing here? The fuck are those? They kill the villagers? They're robots. Come on, more? They just keep on coming. Why would robots be coming out of a place like that? Why wouldn't they is the real question. I know the answer, but do you know the answer? This is just uh this is just ending E from the Grimoire Near book, I'm uh, I'm assuming. Ooh, I like that loading icon. The hell's going on here? What's a place like this doing inside a tree? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? You'll find out. Welcome to the sea of humanity. Yep. Welcome to the cemetery of sin and punishment. 
Yep. 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 Who are you? Show yourselves. Remain calm. Creepy little freaks. What else we got? Soon we will meet. Oh, that's Kyle McCarley. And that's what's her face? I don't understand a damn thing you're saying. Kira Buckland. Yes. Show your damn faces already. Do not be hasty. Soon we shall meet. Soon we shall meet. The hell? They're in there, but the We got them, boys. Can't go in there, though. Soon we shall meet. The door is opening. Seems like we're gonna have one final boss. One final, final boss. What's it gonna be? Naturally, it's them. Fucking idiot, Kaine. Quit fucking around. The administrators of this forest. Oh, she's up there. Do you see her? They're both up there. The stories of recycled vessels. The voice of a recycled world. Got it. All right, baby. What are we going to find? I mean,
the twins. What are these? They're actually flowers. They don't look... They don't look fake. Of sampling that strength. What, are they gonna make a copy of me? Maybe about 13 copies of me. Are those things me? I'm at my strongest right now. Oh boy, meso particles. Meso research. If you wanted me to follow any of this, you're gonna be real fucking disappointed. Our words are for someone else, not for you. These other me's are brittle as hell. I ought to be insulted. We have Damn finally no come to an end. I want to tear these freaks apart, eat the pieces, and shit them into a trash can. Let <laughs> me shit them into a fucking trash can. Fucking hell. No. They just keep coming. Whack. You little fuckers. Ooh. Oh, it's a meal. Kaine, are you okay? A meal? You betcha. Let's go, brother. He's got four arms now. Why? I sense tremendous power in that magic circle. I think it's acting as an energy source. We can destroy it. All the other kinase should disappear too. Got it. I'll take care of the magic circle. You focus on kicking some kinase butt. Uh, I mean, the other kinase butts. Not your kinase butt. You, the real kinase. <laughs> I get it, Amir. <coughs> Just focus. <coughs> His name's Emil. What are those what voices? Are those voices? Just, a couple of little fucks. Just a couple of little fucks. Gosh, it feels like it's been forever since we fought together. It's been three years. Seems familiar. I think there was someone else who used to fight with us. My memory is of Singularity signature. Fascinating. 
Is that the last one? What do we got? Ooh, we can keep going deeper. Let's go, Emil. Is that a doorway? Bro, is this the copied city? Beyond here lies that which was lost. The final hope for you to reclaim. Let's go. What the fuck? Kaine said she'd come visit for my birthday, but I wish we could celebrate her birthday sometime. That'd be so fun. this place at least there don't seem to be any bad guys around emil i didn't get a chance to ask yet with all the fighting and shit but what happened to you back then and where have you been and why the hell do you have four arms <laughs> kind of i look it's gonna take way too long to get into all that now fine fine you can't worried. hit me like that oh kind of but look at us now Team Camille, back together again. Team Camille. Yeah, I guess so. Camille. <laughs> oh my god, I love my baby boy so much. What's gonna happen now? What is this place? It's clearly the copied something. This is the Shadow Lord's castle? A copy? No, not quite. Kaine, I, I feel like I've forgotten something really important. Yeah, you have, Tell you bunch it. of fucking dweebs. What do we got here? Yeah, I can't really describe it, but it's like my mind is filled with this weird fog. I think I. There's even more down there. Made a promise to somebody. You sure like... did. That we would go eat something delicious? <laughs> well then, we'll just have to get those memories back. Yeah! Spirit capsule. She doesn't have magic, though. It was worth a shot. What if it were like some button that you had to ground pound? Something big's gonna happen. That's definitely the same <clears throat> the same general structure as the Shadow Lord's castle. So it is technically the copied city. What the fuck? I thought it was gonna be a load screen, but no, this is just a dark ass place. There it is. Jeez. They went all out with this remake, didn't they? I feel an enormous magical power ahead. Just don't do anything rash. Got it? Got it. Same goes for you, Kaine. Yeah, buddy, don't, don't want to be alone anymore. Yeah. The final door. Equipped with even the same number of boxes. What's gonna be behind door number one? It's the Is core. The Shadow Lord's castle? It's a replica. Kine, I'm sensing some powerful magic up ahead. Definitely a replica of the Shadow Lord's this castle. Is a very special place. To you. And to the world. Okay. To you and the world. I guess this is the memories of the world, huh? Uh oh. Is that my. The game's running too quickly. No, there's too many frames. Too many frames. That's funny. What do we got? I have to hit it. That is the core flame of this forest, within which a great variety of information is stored. Inside it exists all that this world is, 
including the memories you have lost. True. Would you two shit sex please shut up? Shit sex. What do we got? Don't get to decide who lives and who dies. That voice. It's the one from my, dreams. From my dreams. I've heard that voice before. These are your memories. I reckon if you repeat them with that. You repeatedly rewrote. Make this far because you were with us, Kane. What, what is, is this? this? Do you suffer? I am Shut the fuck up! Yo, thanks for the heal, broski. Fucking shit, purse. Just die already. Let's go. What do we got? She does. Where am I? Wow, you're in near automata. These are your memories. These are your records. You are a robot. This there's a lot within the world. The hell is this? Sweet memories from deep within. Better memories that were sealed away. You'll need them all. Slap them. Shades? Shades. Human souls that have gone to shit. The true humans you slaughtered on your journey. You are a foreign entity in this world. Between memory and record. I have not understood a single fucking thing you shitty little ass grabbers have said since we started this goddamn adventure. That's the fun part, though. The words aren't meant for you. They're meant for me. The player. Do it again. Bring it all back. Beepy, wait, that's enough. No, I can't live without you. I don't want to be alone again. God damn it. Enough with this bullshit already. You have heard many voices. Hate, rage, suffering. Bum, 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 bum. We are incomplete, but our friends make us whole. We are mocked, abused, and hated, but our friends keep us strong. That is what keeps us going. We do not stand in the way of our lives. Do not stand in the way of our lives. Stop it, stop it, stop it! I kill shades. That's all there is to it. Is that truly how it is? This is the deepest place in your memories. Memories of 
Paris you had sealed away. I had to shield them away. Oh boy. Grandma. Yep. You don't belong here. It's upgraded. Shut your goddamn traps for one goddamn second and let me kill it already. <clears throat> it cannot be stopped. Someone else was there when I first fought this bastard. Look, why can't I remember? Uh, good question. The fuck? This is some twisty shit right here. You're gonna pay! I won't lose to you. Damn right. I gotta see the ending. can do about that one. Okay. That hurt. Not true. Get out, half breed. You disgust me. You disgust us all. I don't like this part. We don't want you. She can Just only walk forward. You can't beat this part. This is bad. Come on, Kainang. Do something. What are you going to do? What are you going to do about it? When Kaine's eyes flutter open, she sees a dozen villagers quizzically staring back. After a moment, she realizes she's collapsed, collapsed on the ground where sharp stones dig at her flesh. Like, whatever, that's not important right now. She pulls herself to a knee before rising on unsteady feet and sparing a glance at her surroundings. The fuck? What happened? Wasn't I just fighting shades? Her mind races as her hand gropes unconsciously for the blade that has been her constant companion for so very long. Though she can't explain it, it's clear she has somehow been transported to an entirely new world. Well, not entirely new. She recognizes the hawk-shaped weather vane twisting slowly in the wind above her, as well as the small round homes with wisps of smoke drifting into the air. And of course, there are the villagers currently staring at her with a mixture of fear and disgust. Oh yes, they are a familiar sight indeed. She is in the airy. She is home. Is something the matter, girl? Kaine spins around at the voice and sees a woman ravaged by time. Her narrow hips barely seeming seem enough to s strong enough to hold her body upright, while the shawl wrapped around her thin frame appears ready to fall apart at any moment. Grandma, is that really you? Her grandmother's eyes grow almost comically wide before blinking several times in succession. What's wrong, you for a fool girl? Is your head lost in dreams? Dreams? Could this be a dream? But it feels so real. But she's dead. Grandma's dead. I watched that goddamn shade killer. So if this isn't a dream, how the hell is she here? 
Unless those shades killed me too. That's that must be it. I'm dead. I'm dead, and this is he Oh, stop with that nonsense already. Kane flinches as her grandmother raises a hand in the air, expecting pain to come as a correction for her foolishness. But instead of a blow, her grandmother simply places the hand upon her granddaughter's cheek. The warmth of it instantly spreads from her cheek to her face before filling her entire body with a kind of beautiful light. What's wrong, girl? Are you upset? Do you want to go home? Kaine feels tears coming to her eyes and struggles to hold them back, though she still has no idea what is happening. She knows one thing for certain. This is her grandmother. Sorry, Grandma. Not sure where my head was at there. Well, just make sure you keep it attached, she chuckles as she pulls her hand away. Maybe this is a dream, or maybe I'm already dead, I don't know. But either way, I'm not alone. As long as Grandma is with me, that's enough. Didn't I just tell you to stop spacing out, girl? Here, now hold this. She holds ki hands kind of a large sack filled to bursting with all manner of fruits and vegetables. Damn, Grandma, this is a lot. Well, it's important to treat yourself every now and again. Treat yourself. Besides, these villagers may hate us, but the bastards are more than willing to take our money. We'll lend support as we can, even if they have to hold their noses while we do it. Her grandmother trails off as if trying to remember something. Hmm. And slowly turns around. Well, what do you know? In all the excitement, I forgot to buy my medicine. A thin smile wavers on her face for a moment before vanishing into a lifetime's worth of crevices and wrinkles, causing Kaine to take a concerned step forward. No, Grandma, that's fine. You go home and rest. I'll get the medicine. Her grandmother hesitates, clearly trying to weigh her own need for rest against her granddaughter's odd behavior from of a moment before. Before she can start to argue... <laughs> argue... Kaine charges ahead, ignoring the small voice in her head that's telling her what a bad idea all of this is. Really, Grandma, it's fine. Go home. I've got this. She pulls her grandmother's ancient wallet from her fingers, an act that requires a surprising amount of strength. Besides, you know how stubborn I am. Once my mind is set, there's no changing it. Huh. I wonder where you got that from. Seeing that further argument will be useless, the grandmother slowly turns and begins the journey home. Kaine watches the figure recede from her vision, waiting for what seems an eternity to ensure everything is alright. Once the frail shadow finally vanishes over the horizon, she turns on her heel and makes for the apothecary. <clears throat> oh there, says the elderly apothecary as Kaine enters the store. Here for Kali's medicine, are you? Though few villagers had ever bothered to learn her grandmother's name, she and the apothecary were old friends. Perhaps that was the reason he'd always shown her kindness when so many others did not. Uh, yeah, if it's not a bother. The shopkeeper immediately sets about his work, deftly pulling bottles and herbs from the shelves and mixing them with a practiced hand. Soon a peculiar smell begins to drift through the store, one that immediately reminds Kaine of her childhood. There you are. Sorry for the wait. Oh, and say, that's a fine portrait you drew of your grandmother. It looks just like her, so it does. Honestly, I've never seen Kali so over the moon about anything. She brags about it every time she stops by. You saw that? Said portrait was something she'd whipped up one day after getting her hands on some crayons, and to call it rough would be an act of purest generosity. The idea her grandmother was displaying it around town makes Kaine's stomach want to sink down to her feet before slinking off into a hole somewhere. You bet I saw it. She brought it all the way here just to show me. My, but it's been a long time since I've seen something so wonderful. Kaine's mind begins to whirl. The picture was shit. She was sure it was shit. And yet, the man's reaction displayed the exact opposite opinion. Is he just being nice to me? The apothecary, as if sensing her skepticism, doubles down. I could really tell you put your heart into it. It was simply wonderful. Uh, thanks. Who just wants this conversation to be over? She briefly considers how she's going to make her grandmother cease her little traveling art show, but then realizes that a train has likely left the station. Shaking her head to banish her increasingly shrill thoughts, she grips the bag of medicine tightly and turns to leave. But just as she reaches the door, she hears a loud thud from somewhere back in the shop. Kaine turns around to see the apothecary crouching on the floor. Uh, hey there, you okay? When the man does not reply, Kaine moves towards him. She assumes he just slipped on something, or perhaps hit his head on one of the low-hanging shelves in the crowded shop. But the moment she draws close to him, she hears him begin to scream inside her mind. My leg, my leg, oh god, where is my leg? Ugh, panicked, Kaine looks down and discovers that the man's leg is gone. Help me, screams the voice in her head. Help me, as Kaine looks on in horror, the man's fingers begin to shimmer and vanish. He reaches out for her with 
his other hand only to find that it too is no longer there soon his arms go then his legs then the side of his face warbles out of his existence causing a stray eyeball to roll out of its socket and onto the floor Heel, says the voice if it could even be called that anymore i can a moment later what remains of the pitiful, pitiful shopkeeper collapses into a heap of ash releasing a small puff into the suddenly silent air as Kaine stumbles back in horror, she hears a cacophony of terror rising up outside. Oh god, what's happening? My arms! Where are my arms? Why can't I see? Kaine bursts out of the store and finds herself in a nightmare. Homes slough off the sides of cliffs, taking out pieces of scaffolding as they fall. Screams echo out everywhere, creating an opera fit for hell. Villagers run in mad circles before exploding into dust, their clothing drifting this way and that as it floats untethered through the air. As she stares at the scene, wide-eyed, a single thought suddenly inserts itself into the forefront of her mind. Grandma! Kaine breaks into a run, the crumbling world around her suddenly forgotten. She leaps from one piece of falling debris to the next, using them as stepping stones to cross a world that is increasingly losing cohesion. As she continues her mad dash, flecks of ash are blown into her face, her mouth, her eyes. Ash, 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 buildings and people all reduced to so many cinders in the wind. Soon she arrives at her childhood home. It was once a place filled with precious memories, a place she reg regarded as an oasis in an increasingly mad world. <sighs> but now it is nothing but a pile of ash. As she gapes unbelievingly at the sight, a faint sound suddenly reaches her ears. Kaine. She's alive. Grandma's alive. With a speed born out of panic, she leaps into the giant pile and begins shoving it aside. It stings her eyes and burns her lungs, but she continues on, heedless of the danger. Finally, she pulls a small blackened form out of the darkness. Come on, Grandma. We're getting out of here. Waiting without, without waiting for a response, Kaine gathers her grandmother in her arms and breaks into a mad run, hoping to escape the chaos. But the wave of ash has become a tsunami, and before she can make it more than a few desperate steps, it reaches out with a cruel hand and overwhelms them. Kaine stumbles and falls, sending her and her grandmother tumbling into the ashes. One glance at her feet is enough to reveal the culprit. Her right leg has vanished at a point just below the knee. Oh, it'll take more than that to stop me, mutters Kaine as she slings her grandmother over her shoulder and begins to crawl away. We're going to make it. We're going to live. As she crawls, her grandmother seems to grow lighter as if trying to m magically reduce the weight of her own burden. And as Kaine continues to struggle, she hears a small, soft voice enter her ear. Thank you, Kaine. Thank. As the voice drifted away, the last pile of ash that used to be her grandmother drifts away on the breeze. Kaine screams an impossibly sad and lonely sound, and begins trying to pull the ashes back to her. This can't be happening, it can't be happening, but the ashes are mingling with all the other detritus from the collapsed village, and soon she can no longer tell which particles belong to who. Come on, come on, come the fuck on already! As she continues her frantic digging, her hand suddenly closes around a soft piece of ragged fabric. Her grandmother's shawl. I knew this place was a lie. I knew it, and I still couldn't do anything. I couldn't save anyone. I couldn't even escape. I just felt the peace in the place, and I accepted it. I wanted it. That's why there was nothing here. No reason to live. No goal. No anything. So this is why I'm... Why? Suddenly, a new voice enters Kaine's world. I say, can you hear me? After a moment, the voice calls out again, louder, clearer. Now then, you wish to get him back, hmm? <laughs> oh, Vice is here. I can't believe it. Him? Who are you talking about? Oh, for <clears throat> the love of all the heavens, I always did know you were a handful. Though the voice immediately begins to grate on Kaine's nerves, there is something else as well. A kind of warmth. Almost a familiarity. Are you truly so daft that you have already forgotten one of your beloved traveling companions and friends? Which causes something deep in Kaine's memories to siege for surge forth. That's right, I had friends and I was fighting to get one of them back. At this realization, a blinding radiant beam of light shoots out across the ash-covered world. Covering her eyes with one trembling hand, Kaine reaches for Do it. Do hurry back now, hussy. Oh, my baby boy. Ooh. That's...
that's a dark lance. Which means R Grimoire Vice is here? There you are, my baby boy. What is the matter? Do you still not remember? You have not time to become lost in your thoughts. Right. Okay. Let's get him back! The power of Grimoire Vice grants you the use of magic. Use my magic to topple the beast. I presume you know how to use magic, yes? Give us a show, hussy! I don't need your help to take out this goddamn fuck waffle! Fuck waffle, she says. Use my power to knock the creature down with magic. Well done! Now clobber the beast! Let's fuck it up good! Shit, this thing is tough. Let the next onslaught be our last. What the fuck? Hey, Vice. Yes. Thanks. Have you been in your cups again? Fuck your face. Ah, that's more like. My babies are back. A new sound of mind, Hussy. What you're attempting is extremely. Cram it, book. I'm doing this. I see. Let's do it, Vice. Let not your resolution waver before mere illusions again, hussy. Don't worry. I'll do what needs to be done. Wow, the bodies are just staying there. On the floor. Bottom bum bum bottom bum. Let's do it, Vice. One last time. <laughs> I love how cr how Minecrafty it looks. The sun was a lunar tear, I'm pretty sure. Oh, she's aura oaring. Wow, that's a new one. So this is a replicant's potential. I hear a song. Possible futures are blending with something. Don't go. Kine, don't, don't go back. Don't go back. Shut up, shut up, shut up! I already made up my mind. Nobody tells me <laughs> what to do. I swore I would be a sword. I swore that I would be your sword. Do you hear me? So I am going to get you back, and I don't care what it takes. Who the fuck do you think you are to just up and disappear like that, huh? I'm the one who gets to decide what my life means to me. It's my life, and I'll do whatever I want with it. So quit wasting time like a brainless fuckwit, and get your ass back here now! That's how you do it. 
I want a girl who will talk to me like that. There he is. Oh man, Vice is gone again. Do you want to recover the person you cherish? If you choose this option, your current save data will be erased and the save data deleted and ending D will be restored. Are you sure about this? Once your save data has been restored, the save data will be erased, so you can only choose this option once. Are you really sure? That's not entirely true. I could just make a new game and do it all over again, right? Are you really sure about this? Uh, at least it'll be recorded, so yes. What is the name of the person you cherish? Oh, I love this game so much. The correct name was entered. All save files will be restored. What was that map? weapons, all my words, my status, all the documents, my one fishing record. All the weapon stories, the fragments. Select a file to restore the lost and save data to. I leave the rest to you, Hussy. Thank you, Vice. I was hoping you'd come back as well. But I guess that's not possible. What the fuck is that? Looking like a lunar tear. Emil, what the fuck? Let's go, brother. Oh, she gets baby near, not Our big near. May have been meaningless. That's kind of gross. Our past may have been a mistake, but we're not going back. Even if this world comes to an end, because this. This is the world for the people we cherish. There's always got to be a big weird flower in Yoko Taro's games. And that's it. That's the last ending, folks. <sighs> That ending existed, uh, I read online when I was looking up the endings, the ending guide to recall how to get the endings, and, uh, <clears throat> they said that this ending would, uh, shake up the near canon or whatever, but, uh, this was always the, uh, this was always the canon ending, um, both ending D and E are the canon endings, um, the problem is that Yoko Taro released Grimoire Nier only in Japan, which was a book that had a bunch of short stories and whatnot. Uh, one of them was Ending E, which was what we just witnessed. Uh, Kaine coming, going into the tree in the Forest of Myth and bringing back Nier. And, uh... <laughs> well, we just saw it. So... 
describe the absolute beauty of this fucking series. Also, I bought Nier Automata today, because it's on sale at the moment. So, we will eventually do a follow-up stream for Automata. At some point. Not right now. Not, not anytime soon, probably. Probably the next time we're, I'm bored. And by bored, I mean, you know, after we get the, uh... <clears throat> after we clear Resident Evil Village, probably. And that'll be fun. That's just how life is. Maludasha. we go. Ending E. A parting greeting has been added to the options menu. What does that mean? A parting greeting. Visit that woman's house to acquire a new weapon. I like the new loading screen. What is this? All right. Is everybody here? Present and accounted for. You betcha. Sure. All right, then. <clears throat> Dear players, the game is over, and we have a special message for you. Thank, Thank you, you for playing. playing. <laughs> oh, for, <sake>. <laughs> <laughs> for fuck's sake. Uh, Yona, why aren't you in bed? Oh, hey. It's my big, big brother. I'm so sorry. I just 
didn't want to miss this. Try and take it easy on her, okay? Yeah, you wouldn't turn down a request from your adorable little sister, would ya? Popola, Never. Devola, you're here too? Yeah, we don't have eyes. <laughs> Looks like you're having yourself a grand old time, sunshine! Okay, who was that? <laughs> Shut up, Tyrion. I'll just make things complicated. We haven't all the time in the world, hmm? Let us finish what we came here to do. So, it's really gonna be over, huh? Does that make anyone else feel sad? We have to say goodbye eventually. But hey, I'm sure we'll meet again. Someday. You really think so? I'm getting hungry over here. Wanna hurry this up? Me too, Kaine. Alright. Once again, from the top. Dear players, the game is over. And we have a special message for you. Ready? Ready? One, two, thank, thank you for playing. playing. Well, that was adorable. I'm in 